Using Time Garden as your journal could completely change your life. Crystal clear data shows your past, automations, and more than a hundred templates do the work, and journaling becomes easy, beautiful, and effortless. You will finally see patterns you've missed and growth you've never seen before, the real you appearing in the data. I'm not kidding when I say that this Obsidian Vault took 400 hours to build, and you can start using it for free. Let's set it up in just five minutes, as it's literally plug and play, no prior knowledge required. So I assume just now you've entered your personal mail on the Time Garden site to get Time Garden directly delivered into your inbox. All right, and when we see the order in our mails, we just scroll down to the yellow button at the bottom and click view order slash download Time Garden. And then we are in the order overview. There's the link to the tutorial you're watching right now. And also the download for the Time Garden vault.zip. I'm gonna hit download. Now locating it in my downloads, no matter what OS you're on, just unzip the zip file. And that is actually the Time Garden vault. I recommend putting it somewhere safe now. Okay, and now having opened Obsidian, by the way, if you don't have Obsidian installed yet, just go in your browser and enter obsidian.md and then just click on get Obsidian for your specific OS. So we're gonna click open folder as vault and now we're going to locate our unzipped Time Garden vault and make sure that we're not opening any file inside of it, but actually the top level folder called Time Garden vault and click on open. Then we're gonna click trust author and enable plugins and then this molder should open up. It's gonna welcome you and also tell you to accept the terms of service. And yeah, if you have already opened the tutorial that you're watching already. So how do you actually use Time Garden? It's super easy. And apart from everything that I'm going to show you right now, you can also find lots of instructions if you look into dashboard and then into tutorial notes. I'm also assuming that you have some general obsidian.md understanding. So if you don't, just check out one of my tutorials. Okay, to actually start, every time you open Time Garden, actually this welcome modal won't appear, but actually this is daily note, which you can always manually open by clicking the green open daily note button on the left ribbon menu. And you know, this is the note that is always going to greet you whenever you open Time Garden and where you actually put your notes into. But if you don't feel like looking at today, you can always browse to, for example, yesterday or the day before. And you're going to notice that depending on each day, there's a different beautiful theme and color and banner fitting to what day of the week you're on. Uh, you can also not browse like with these buttons on top here, but actually on the calendar on the bottom left. If it's not open already, you can always hit Command P and then open calendar. And then you're going to have it on the top left here. And like, I'm going to close it for a second and like drag it to where it is, but it should probably already be there. And yeah, I mean, in the calendar view, you can browse between the days. You could also, for example, go to a past month or like even to a past year, like jump between years and months. And what probably already caught your eye is that you could also hit this week because in Time Garden, there aren't just daily notes. So a note for each day, but also weekly notes. That means a note for all of the seven days, giving you a good overview of them. So there are weekly notes, but there are also monthly, quarterly, and also a yearly note. If for some reason code should appear instead of a note, you can just go on the calendar, double click it, click on delete, and then just reinstantiate it. Okay, but maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. So what you actually do in Time Garden, like every day, every day you're gonna experience some exciting events. And the core of journaling of Time Garden is that you actually document these events, these feelings, and save these things for your future self. So Time Garden already nicely offers you this blank bullet point to just jot whatever happened today, like into. So let's pretend I had an eventful day already and I want to write down whatever happened into Time Garden because now it's the evening and I feel like doing it. I could write something like waking up at 7, 14, by now, practicing, say T for 90 minutes, like that, that could be like a random example. And after I wrote down my general description of the day, it would also be advantageous to give the day a fitting title. You already noticed the title of the note, which informs you what day, month, and year it is. But the field here for the title is different. It's called an alias, which is a very memorable way to describe your day in about seven or eight words or less, you know? So the most eventful thing that happened today, probably on the Wednesday, was watching Fantastic Four. You know, drop this popcorn. Okay, that is a bit of a longer title, but I actually like to keep it a bit more detailed just to really, especially having like three distinct things makes the day very memorable. Yeah, also over the course of the day, you're also allowed to add pictures. So yeah, I'm, ju I'm just gonna copy paste something in. So I copied the image and control C and now I'm gonna command V it. So there's me sitting in Denmark. You're gonna notice that it's automatically centered. And then you can also give your day like a rating. 
I would probably give this day an 8, like pretty decent things that happened. Here's also the quick notes section, which sort of makes more sense if you put Time Garden also on your phone where it works too. So you download the Obsidian app on your phone and then synchronize this vault, for example, with iCloud for free or, or Obsidian Sync. But even if you don't use like a mobile device, just over the course of the day, whenever you open Time Garden in between, you can always like hit the idea button and then just write down something behind, for example, the idea highlight or progress tag. For example, for the progress tag, I could add, because maybe I haven't wrote it down already in the evening, so I'm gonna write down practiced 90 minutes for the SAT. And this will be, like all of these notes, like it will reward you in the long term if you fill out the pictures, the rating, or write down some quick notes. Also, here's the this note from different years. If you just uncollapse that, you're gonna see that there's no result for that query. That's because this is the first note of the vault, obviously, but if we, as we have already learned in the calendar plugin, go back exactly one year and create something on August 20th and then go back. We can see that actually now we will actually see the node from a different year, also displayed with its alias, which isn't filled out. So let's pretend I, I have written something down there. A very generic title, but does it for the example. And now you, you're gonna see alias and epic day. Uh, yeah, here's the Q&A section and apart from the Q&A section, you've probably also noticed these buttons right here. I'm going to explain what they're going to do in a second, but I want to show you the weekly note first. So let's say you've written down seven daily entries. So you've did what I did for this Wednesday seven times. So I'm going to hit this week and go up to the weekly layer, which you can see has a different styling now and actually changes its color over the course of the 52 weeks so that each note is distinct. Also fitting to the season, by the way. So now if we're a casual user, the weekly note allows us to basically look over all the past entries we have and the ratings and the titles they had. So we only filled out Wednesday. So what we're going to see here is that it had a rating of eight and like the title it had. And the other days we only created them so they don't have a title and just a rating of one. We can even through this chart go to the specific daily note. And just to show you what a fully filled out week looks like, I actually switched to my personal instance of Time Garden that I'm joining with for a few months now as the template doesn't exist that long, uh, but I also imported older notes that I have. If you're interested why it looks even prettier, it's because I went to the Obsidian settings and in the tab on the left, there's also the tab appearance and Time Garden by itself in vanilla Obsidian already looks very, very good. But if you want to improve the looks even more, you can choose one of the amazing themes provided by the community, which are all absolutely free and pick one that suits your style. For example, the very new baseline theme, absolutely beautiful theme, just makes Time Garden look even more sophisticated, I gotta say. So yeah, this is actually a week where all seven entries are actually filled out. And as you can see, now we actually have a title that is filled in. And also there's this area right here that I find much more aesthetic than just writing it down, which is a field where if you click on it, you can add new things in Markdown, for example. And then if you click out of it again, then it's like added and you can just scroll through it because I don't want my weekly note to be like super long. But basically the process would be going through all of your daily notes. And then, you know, you don't need to summarize each day again, but maybe just writing down like your highlights or key developments of the week would be quite beneficial to sort of, if you go in this weekly note, you're gonna see what you did on all of these days and what really mattered to you with like a quick glance. And like apart from that, now the writing chart actually looks very good because yeah, we have the progression with like a lot of titles. And also we can see that apparently on Saturday I had a fall off, probably because I was traveling up until Friday and then on Saturday I came back home and that was kind of, you know, a bit underwhelming to be back home because traveling is quite fun. There's also this collapsible picture section. So if we go back to my to the instance we've now opened together and open the picture section and just scroll down a bit further, we're gonna see the picture I added in one of the daily notes. So basically the weekly note features a sort of picture gallery for you. Apart from that, there are also the logs. So all the quick notes you did over like the seven daily entries of that week, they will be displayed in here in like a list automatically for you. For example, here, the progress thing, and you're gonna see like what day that came from which is quite nice if you want to sort of get a quick grasp of all the things you quickly written down in that week. Then again, you're going to have a general overview. So this again looks quite pretty or better on like the week that I actually filled out. And then there's going to come the very exciting Wheel of Life. 
The Wheel of Life is basically this pie chart with eight different colored categories, which range from spiritual, social finance, career slash work, like all of these different categories to sort of review your past with and rate according to how well you did on each of them. So the process for this would be to also go through your daily entries to sort of get a feeling of what happened in your week. And then you can just uh, like each category, just move the slider and, you know, give it the rating you believe. Like maybe we did like a lot of sport this week, so I'm going to give health and fitness a 10. But maybe, I don't know, for some reason we like closed off to all new experiences and never really got a new lesson. So I'm going to put personal growth at like three, maybe, but we still had a lot of fun or like decently. And we were sort of social, but we also spent a lot of money, which we didn't want. So finance is going to get two. And then just looking back at the um, Wheel of Life graph, which is like a premium chart, I got to say, you can see all the categories automatically filled in. You can also toggle the categories if you want. I don't know why you, why you want that, but but it's cool. It, it looks cool. And then there's the Q&A section again. And you know, all of this can be, again, brought up to the monthly layer. So yeah, monthly note obviously is derived from all its weekly notes. So after you filled out the relevant weekly notes, you can then start filling out the monthly note. And again, to examine how a fully filled out month looks like, uh, I again pulled out my personal instance of Time Garden. And looking in here, again, the process was to look through each week and then get a feeling of what happened and then write down the most important developments and also the key developments and like challenges and also write like a fitting title for it. The rating chart is getting really, really interesting at this point because especially that one fall of day with, that we observed like it clearly stands out. So that sort of helps you recognize patterns and reverse engineer your past. And just in general, this view is pretty killer in my opinion. Obviously that's the average rating if I haven't mentioned that yet. And you can also toggle the categories here and have the weekly averages actually displayed. Uh, there are also, there's again the photo gallery, but this time aggregated so if you open the photo gallery then you're opening the weekly photo galleries like if you open it in the month and it's similar for the logs they are now like a collection of the logs of the week itself that you can each open individually and then you have the week overview the general and then very interestingly you also have an average derived from all the wheel of life so you can actually look and like the aggregation of all the Wheel of Life that you have filled out. And again, if one of these weeks interests you, you can just browse to it by clicking on it in the chart. In general, that's the thing in all charts in Time Garden. You can click on whatever time period you're observing and you're instantly navigated there, you know? Also extremely interesting when you have filled out the weekly, the weekly Wheel of Life, you also have the Wheel of Life progression where you can also toggle different categories and see how they, like how you progress in these categories over the weeks. And you can also change the chart type for example, if a line chart doesn't really suit my needs, I could click bar, wait a few seconds, scroll down, and then we have a bar overview of our Wheel of Life progression. And then again, there's the Q&A. So the drill for the quarterly notes and the yearly notes is pretty much the same. Just obviously you need to fill out a lot of notes in order for these to actually display something that is fitting. For example, the yearly note, like I imported an entire past year of my old journaling Obsidian system, which was far worse than Time Garden. And so that was sort of the result of aggregating all of that in like the upper node layers. And the writing progression gets very fine tuned as it averages out, but it's still quite insightful to see which months were the worst or the best. And yeah, like on the yearly and quarterly layer, things are the same. I mean, on the yearly layer, there's the specialty that you have top days. So they that have a rating of nine or higher. They all get listed here. It's quite fun to read through these. And there's also the yearly gen gallery, but that's again, pretty much the same. And yeah, the wheel of life progression at this point is so big because it now looks at like the 12 months of the year that you actually need to toggle by default because having all of these averages and things displayed at the same time is a bit overwhelming if you want to get insight from it. So I made it to be like that. And yeah, what's also very interesting, if you know Obsidian sort of decently, you also know that there is the graph view, which makes Obsidian quite special in its own right because it creates this cluster of connected nodes like out of your note out of your notes for you and in time garden this isn't the traditional way of linking things time gun actually does something different again looking at my past fault or like my my personal instance of time garden this actually becomes something that you can look at which is time garden builds 
sort of these flower patterns out of your notes automatically for you, which basically looks like, so it connects seven days with a week, then like four or five weeks with a month, then all these months with a quarter, like three months, right? So like here, for example, and then all of these with a year. And like this was initially the inspiration to call it Time Garden because this is basically an obsidian journaling vault that isn't just aesthetic, but it also creates these flower patterns out of your past, which means you're tending to, to, to your like past garden. You get what I mean. It, it's pretty cool, in my opinion. Also, what I forgot to mention, there's also the templates folder. Obviously, like the entire file hierarchy basically is interesting to you if you want to look into the tutorial notes or if you want to have you know, another kind of view for your daily or weekly or monthly notes. They're all structured automatically. And there's also uh, the templates folder, which is basically all the behind the scenes automatic work processes of Time Garden. You can look into the components. There are more than a hundred templater components to just, you know, to look into and maybe also steal or whatever. There are also the parent templates where all of the templates basically get like mashed together to create the seamless experience. There is also the image directory for with the images, like the banners of the notes. You can also replace these banners at any point of the way, by the way, either by using the flag icon or looking into the tutorial note of how to change the banner that will explain how it works. And yeah, there's also the scripts folder. Don't delete that, then most of the things won't work. And there's also the notes directory where you can put in whatever you want. Uh, also, all your images will land there that you like drag and drop in there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm somewhere else now. Don't leave yet, because before we end the tutorial, there is one more major feature that I've left out that will save you hours in your journaling. Time Garden has inbuilt local AI. So that means you don't even have to write those weekly, even yearly summaries yourself. AI also lets you ask any questions to that Q&A section at the bottom of each note, where AI takes all the fitting daily notes into account when answering your questions. Extremely insightful. Also, the Wheel of Life is done with a press of a button. The AI literally looks through the seven daily entries for you and fills out each category automatically, even giving you reasoning why it did what it did. And you can even change it later if you somehow disagree. Even the daily aliases and ratings can be done with a press of a button. So in short, you save multiple hours weekly and your tasks when it comes to maintaining Time Garden are literally reduced down to only writing what you did for the day into the daily notes. Because it's installed on your PC, it does take a bit more time for like bigger tasks, also depending on your PC's hardware. But it's 100% private as the data never leaves your device and it even works offline. I'm telling you, no other AI journal has AI like that. But in order for me to maintain and provide high quality updates for Time Garden, this is locked behind a one-time fee, the Eternal Garden membership. You get all the AI features for life, so you can use them as much as you want and save your valuable time. You will have access to all premium templates in the future that we will build, so be ready to effortlessly add even cooler charts and features to your own Obsidian vaults. You get to join an exclusive Discord community where you can vote on new features like AI tagging and a lot more. All of this has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in trying it out. But yeah, I mean, no pressure to upgrade. Right now, just have fun writing that first daily entry. May you have lots of fun and insight maintaining your personal time garden.